Hello, everybody. This is a dream Monday Night Raw. It's kind of a dream. I just ran uh, one episode of Monday Night Raw, and this is how it would play out. This is how I would start out Monday Night Raw. Now, imagine. I know it's a black screen, but imagine in your head. Close your eyes and imagine. The opening would play all the pyro would go off. And then out comes McFoley. He goes on and introduces the show and starts getting, you know, crazy in there. Not really, but still. You know, he's having fun. And then... This dude, he's coming out because he wants a universal title shot. Mick Foley, please give it to me. I don't know why he's talking that. He probably has a problem. I don't know. But Mick Foley, please, I want it. And McFoley's like, okay, yeah, sure, I guess you can have one, but you have to go through one person first. And if this person wins, he gets to face Kevin Owens for the WWE Universal title at Royal Rumble. Then he says, but before anything happens, that match starts right here in blah 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 place blah blah blah. So, once, once this little part finishes, it fades to black. Then out comes the competitor. Once he comes out, he says, Oh, the doctor said I'll be back in six and I came back in five. So then he says, Kevin Owens, your title will be mine. Then the match starts, goes on, to be that Finn Balor wins. He wins by coup de gras on the outside. He's on top of the rings post. Braun Strowman's laying on the, the mat. He does the coup de gras. And he gets the count out victory. Once he's done celebrating, then out comes Kevin Owens. Talking trash as usual and gloating that he will not win at the Royal Rumble. Once he's done, it fades out to go to commercial break. It fades back in with the commentators telling us about what happened and says to get ready for some tag team action. The first ones to come out are the club. They cut a promo calling out the Raw Tag Team Champions, Cesaro and Sheamus, yelling and blabbering about how they deserve another tag team title shot. In the midst of them yelling, out come Enzo Mori and Big Cass. They come out walking the walk and talking the talk, calling out the club and the Tag Team Champions. Once they're done doing their entrance, it fades to black. Once it comes back, the match starts. It's the number one contenders match for the Raw Tag Team titles. While they're all fighting, Cesaro and Sheamus come out. They come to watch the match. After a while, the club come up with the W. They grab a mic and they start demanding for their title shot tonight. Cesaro says, Hey, you want it tonight? You can have it tonight. Though. I don't know why he's talking like that. He probably has a problem again. Then it fades to black. And when it comes back, the commentators say, Get ready for some women's division stuff. The first person out is Miss Nia Jax. The next woman to come out is Charlotte Flair. In the middle of her entrance, it shows what happened during commercial break. It showed Nia talking to Stephanie McMahon. So Charlotte has a mic as she's going inside the ring. She starts talking stuff to Nia. And eventually, Nia hits her. The match starts and oh my god, it's a nice match. It's a good match. In the middle of the match, Sasha Banks comes out. Nia gets distracted. Charlotte does the fruit roll up or the sunset flip or whatever it's called. But Nia kicks out. 
Naya does her finisher and wins the belt. Naya holds the title up above Sasha to disrespect her. Then Bailey comes out. Bailey runs down to the ring and tries to attack Naya. Then Sasha tries to attack Naya with Bailey, but Naya pushes both of them down, holds the title up one more time, and then leaves. It fades to black. Then it comes back with the Raw Cruiserweight commentator team. They show some highlights of the past 205 Live and say get ready for some Cruiserweight action. The first boy to come out is the Brian Kendrick. The other boy to come out is the Cruiserweight champion, Rich Swan. I was gonna say Rick. I don't know why, it's Rich, Rich Swan. Once the match starts, it's for the title, for the Cruiserweight title. So, they're fighting, they're fighting, they're fighting. So Brian goes for slice bread number six. Number six, but Rich kicks out. He does his finisher two times and then wins. He retains, I was gonna say keeps, he retains, he retains the Cruiserweight title. And he leaves, they both leave. It fades to black. When it fades back in from the commercials, the commentators say who their sponsor is. Then, an interview with Rich Swan comes up. It's Kathy Kelly, she's asking him questions. He says stuff like, I will persevere, I will defend my title at all costs on 205 Live, and so on and so forth. Then the next match, which is a filler match, like five, sec five minutes, it's Darren Young. He comes out first. After Darren Young comes out with Bob Backlund, the Shining Stars come out. After about three minutes, the Shining Stars do a fruit roll up and they win. As they're walking away, they're laughing at Bob Backlund and Darren Young. They finally leave and then Darren Young and Bob Backlund leave. As they're leaving, it shows an interview with the tag champs. They say they will retain the titles no matter what. The club come up out of nowhere and talk to them for a little bit. And then they say, we'll see about that and we'll see you out there. They tap the tag titles and they leave. Then it fades to black. Once it comes back, Seth Rollins is in the ring or coming out to the ring. He's going to cut a promo on Triple H. He cuts a promo on Triple H and he, you know he's going crazy. Then all the lights go off. The music starts to die. Everything's going crazy. I don't know what's going on. Then all of a sudden, Triple H's theme starts playing. Everyone's cheering, everyone's going crazy, but then... It's actually Stephanie McMahon. Everyone's booing, everyone's like, dead. Oh man. So she comes out laughing like, ah ha 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 ha, or however she laughs. <laughs> and she's like, on behalf of my husband, she, she cuts a little promo and she's on behalf of my husband, you're gonna have to wait. And then they start bantering back and forth. Then Jericho jumps out. He starts showing off the title. You know, yeah, I deserve this. I did this. I killed Roman. Then Roman Reigns comes out and talks trash to Chris Jericho. Oh, well, in the middle of Chris Jericho being trashed on by Roman Reigns, Kevin Owens comes out. He comes out, you know, he's just like, yeah, yeah, yada, yada. And things get out of hand. Eventually, everyone stops. This goes on for like 10 minutes, by the way. Everyone stops. Then it fades to black. It comes back with the main event. Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson are already coming out to the ring. They're doing the two sweep. Then the next people come up, which is Cesaro and Sheamus. They both get introduced. Then the match starts. It goes on for a good 20 minutes. The club do a magic killer and then kicks Cesaro off the ropes with a big boot. They pin Sheamus, one, two, 
three, the club wins. The new tag champs. While celebrating, the new day comes out and try to beat up the club. The club fights back and wins that little brawl. Then it fades out and that's the end of the show. The club wins. They are the new tag team champions.